Carrying the sequence through, we've done this movement, we've stepped out, we threw the punch, turn and come back. And at the end of those three punches on this hand, there's three punches. And I'm not doing the form because every time you do a form on video, someone has some comments about it's incorrect because their style. Okay, so you can go on YouTube, you can look up uh, Silum Dao, you'll see a ton of them. You can buy my first DVD on it, you can see the way I do it if you so desire. But after this, there's a movement that comes across and back out. Now that palm isn't necessarily a palm. When you look at the hand formations and the tools, uh, for example, when we were coming up with this in the first part of the, um, the film, the first uh, sequence, I used these knuckles here, like the blood pool hand out of the Bubishi, also from the white crane style that the Wing Chun emanated from. All right, on the next punch, we did it, I did it with a, a more of a closed fist. The fist wasn't tightened because again, I was using that blood pool hand formation, just working with that knuckle trying to get into the nerve. All right. This time, instead of using the palm, which I could, I could pop them in the eardrum and you'd have the same effect, but I'm sure uh, Tom doesn't want to feel the shock to the eardrum today. So I'm gonna use the iron sword hand and that's gonna be delivered right behind the jaw at the facial nerve again. So let's walk through the sequence and just keep building on this to show the effects. So he came in, I pulled him in, I came across, I stopped the punch instead of getting a good shot off to his head, I pulled him in, he does a bon sao or a pak sao to, to block my hand. My hand is going to do that fuk sao formation, slip behind, pulling him in as the, the form would show, and then I'm gonna strike him behind the facial nerve with that first palm coming across. On this side, once again, we'd pull him in, come across, pull, he uh, bonds out, I'd pull him right in, and then palm, okay? So let's take a look at the sequence. If I've done this movement here, and he parks here, and I hit him, you'll see how the body drops. Okay, how you doing? Great. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that on the camera or not, but the eyes just rolled completely back into his head and then he went down. So how'd you feel? Uh, what happened? Electric shock to the body, so white, and legs went up and I went down. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.